Grog stands, enlarged and breathing heavily, his eyes filled with rage and joy, clutching his axe atop the body of the Empyrean, its blackened flesh slowly burning away into ash. The rest of you stand around the broken rock, battered, the lifeless body of Lev Tiel, also broken among the ruin. Vox Machina, what would you like to do? Well, Welcome back, what Grog. do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Did you see that shit? <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. By the way, quick point, safety tip. I think the deck of many things may be dangerous. No. Really? No, no, no. Really? Do you know where you are right now? Do you know where we are right now? In a castle. No, we're, no. we're literally not anywhere near it. We're on top, it's very windy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Terrible weather we're having. Just again. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? I want my player's handbook. Oh, sure. Give it to me. But you're dead. But I am a D&D player. <laughs> Whatever Scrappy do, whatever you need. Oh, oh, my question. Mr. Bell. Oh, my God. Mr. Bell is, al is alive and awake. Oh. oh, did we kill it? We killed it, right? We, we killed it. Killed it. Yes. We did. Good. Yes, it's dead. I hurt so much. <laughs> I hurt so much. You were very brave. You so actually brave. were very brave. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God! Who is that? Who is that small fuck? Oh, you're anyway. so handsome and huge. <laughs> my God, you're so old. Look at his hair. Who is this fucking twerp? I think he can answer for himself. <laughs> it is a pleasure, a pleasure to meet you. You are the one that we were clearly coming to rescue. He's enormous. Yeah, yeah he's big. He's really large. Um, uh, Let me do my thing and then. Okay, I'll put that down. I'm gonna mushle her face back together. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an extra bit <laughs> in there. An extra bit? <laughs> just what? See. I don't going, it's but just like, like kind of on the outside pieces, so she could pull it out if she wanted. Yeah, like, give the fossil piece. Maybe it will make oh. like a no. cool, Whoa. like a wow. uh, You guys are all cyborg. literally the worst, and I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and she could, it'll be like a battle scar. It'll be like a battle scar, but Check also like out. a cool hair clip. Yes. What a, like a unicorn horn. <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you kind of make it, like a like a plate, like a skull plate. plate. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make it like a plate. <laughs> that's that's rad. But put everything you know together, real nice. I think she'll nice. appreciate us making these body modifications I for her. I really like it. Yeah, I, I think, think so it'll be too. really cool. And it's like she has like a, a souvenir from Pandemonium. Exactly. <laughs> you wouldn't want to remember this incredible time. I am going to sit I over by know. the fire and ignore this. <laughs> Envisioning like like a subway sandwich artist, and there's too much stuff in the sandwich, and they're trying to hold it closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Saying artist, that makes me feel better. That was a callback. <laughs> All right. It'll fit. It'll fit. <clears throat> Wait, I was casting a. Uh, uh, level five. Level something. five. Uh, was it raised dead. Raised dead. Raised dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, as you're all here within Scanlan's magnificent mansion. You watch as Pike scrawls out the familiar arcane, or to be divine, circle in this space, drawing the lines. You've gone through this process a number of times with your friends. Um, a little less familiar this time, but nevertheless, an individual who you have made quite a sacrifice and put some, put some of your heart and energy into bringing back from the realm where her uh, god holds supreme, that transition. So upon reaching out to tug against the spirit of one who worships the Raven Queen, um, let's go ahead and complete a resurrection ritual. Who would like to uh, who would like to apply first to this? Give me your heartfelt feelings after six hours. <laughs> I will contribute to this All right. to this ritual. <laughs> yes, you will. All right. I will excuse myself and then come back holding a small lump of poo. <laughs> it's nice of you to excuse yourself. Uh, and I will. <laughs> 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 How long were you gone? Oh god! You fucking asshole! How long? I was gone for yeah, almost fifteen minutes. I like to do some re do some me? reading. <laughs> so you said I'll go first and then left for fifteen minutes. After some grunting, you 
it's hard to go on command. What did you What did you read? Oh, uh, <laughs> I read. Uh, I don't. I, I don't. Maybe I read some uh, a love letter I had written to you from before. Oh, just to, nothing so makes you just faster. Just to, to proofread it. Make sure. Keep those in the bad. bathroom. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, and I will. I will take my my little poop. And I will just smear a little bit right across her. Oh, fucking gross! Her forehead, uh-huh, uh-huh. and uh, sort of bless bless the ri- little ritual, uh, inspire the ritual somehow. I don't know uh, by uh, by oh, composing a limerick to her. All right. Uh, oh, our handsome dummy, Mister Bell, and our creepy new friend, Liev Tell. To welcome them to the group, I shall give them both my poop. <laughs> to honor them with my mark and my smell. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I hope that does something. Roll a, roll a persuasion <laughs> check with disadvantage. Disadvantage! Because oh, wow. you just put poop on her head! Okay. Persuasion. You're still really good with persuasion. I rolled a two, so that's 20. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. So that reduces You're the DC. <laughs> What? Persuasion is eighteen. According to crit roll stats, I've got a persuasion of eighteen well, plus eighteen. I have a stealth of seventeen, yeah. so that makes sense. Yep. Wow. What? All right, and as as you you smear the trail across the forehead in a very like Simba fashion. Mm-hmm. Um, Simba. <laughs> Simba. It is time. <laughs> uh, you 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 sense the. The soul of Leavitel, who still resides, being dragged across the various realms, uh, tugged a little closer to where the body was, as if out of mere anger at what you've done to her corpse. 